Today I've once again got a map with all 30 NBA franchises, but this time each will be represented by their all-time team. Yeah, somehow with all the imperialism videos I've already made, I've never used pure all-time team rosters. I, I I don't know. It, it felt like it was about time. For today's video, winning teams do not add or steal any additional players, but rather get an end game upgrade to any player on their roster. I'll explain further how that works when we do get to it. Now, uh, let's get to it. Giddy up. Step one, as per usual, we have to spin for our first attacking team of the video and it's gonna be the cleveland cavaliers shout out to lebron's jersey on my wall i just realized it's probably cropped out as you're seeing my face right now but anyways it's up there the Cavs are heading northeast oh man yeah we got a banger already directly into philadelphia 76ers territory i mean each of these matchups is gonna be a banger i need to chill okay the attacking all-time cleveland cavaliers led by 99 lebron of course 94 kyrie mark price this really isn't the deepest all-time team out there but i mean maybe lebron can carry while the sixers on the other side might be one of the two or three best most balanced all-time teams moses and joel up there ai dr j wilt we've got charles barkley on this roster yeah that's a lot of 90 pluses additionally the 76ers do have home court advantage because the cavaliers are attacking them traveling into their land and i can't lie this is a very bad way to start this video man the 76ers a near 50 point victory it also means our first lebron james team is eliminated but don't worry, LeBron Stan, stick around, right? He's got two more teams in this video. Hopefully they fare better than his first. Man, five turnovers, six of 13 shooting. LeBron, you did not do enough. He also played 38 minutes. That's a lot. Okay, and here we go. For winning a game, Philly obviously gets to make the first move on the map, taking over Cleveland territory. The 76ers also get our first end game upgrade to any one player on their roster. For those familiar with my team, that should ring a bell. But if not, this is Allen Iverson's end game my team card from 2K23. 99 stats literally across the board also maxed out hall of fame badges as we jump back to the all-time sixers roster on 2k24 you can see Allen iverson now 99 stats across the board also 77 hall of fame badges that's what he can get on 24 each time a team wins they get an end game card upgrade if they don't have an end game card anyone on their roster will use the best version from my team makes sense yes now you're getting it. I'm curious to see how much these players affect the Sims. Like, will full 99 maxed out Allen Iverson drop 60 next game? I don't know. OKC is our second team up. And once again, they are a banger roster. Like all these, they're heading north. And only one team slightly northwest of them, the Minnesota Timberwolves. This could be another mismatch. Because while, yes, the all-time Timberwolves do have prime Kevin Garnett, 91, K-Love, Towns, Ant Edwards, uh, 90 overalls, that's OK. The OKC Thunder have Kevin Durant and... MVP Russell Westbrook, uh, Gary Payton, Ray, Shea Gildas Alexander, the Aura Man, PG-13. Yeah, that is a deep, thick squad, baby. I don't know why I just used the word thick to describe an NBA team. Can we just ignore that? Uh, at least Minnesota has home court advantage. That might help them. Oh my goodness. Wait, maybe home court advantage is much more OP in this simulation for some reason. Minnesota is up three. We are in OT. I kept waiting for the Thunder to win this game. Somehow it got to OT. Here we are. They're down three OKC. I know Russell Westbrook loves to shoot the rock in these sims when i use this all-time thunder roster he's in the corner okay kd deferred to him he forced him to shoot and that was a bad look kd deferring in the clutch that was not what you want to see oh my gosh marbury to kg <laughs> they're throwing lobs in the clutch minnesota is for real if okc comes up empty on this possession they are done russ don't force a bad shot man he's got it oh that's actually a clean look i i don't yeah. mind that i don't mind you know what russell westbrook hand down man down that was a good look and there it is stefan marbury missed one of two all-time okc thunder they are down three. They have no timeouts. Where do they go here? I know Russ hit a big three Ew. moments ago. What are, I mean, okay, I, that worked, but what, what are the, fun, why, okay. A set play alley-oop in the half court was so wild in that situation. It's the same spot now. OKC's down three. They've got Ray Allen out there. No way. No way. Spencer Haywood is where the Thunder go. Nah. What an unserious franchise. Are you serious? The all-time OKC Thunder shot very poorly from three. So did the Timberwolves. How did Minnesota win this? The Timberwolves, a shocking move. They take over OKC territory. I had a few different choices, but I decided to use Anthony Edwards' invincible card, which is just shy of an endgame. I mean, he's basically maxed out as well. We now go live to my dog Winnie for an important breaking news segment about underdog 
dog fantasy. What do you have to say? No, you can't. I, I, I know you have a friend there, but he's not eligible on higher or low. Oh, what? You, oh my goodness. You bit his ear. What are you trying to tell me? Clearly my dog Winnie was so torn on some of her underdog picks. She, uh, she, she took it out on her little reindeer friend. Sorry, should have given a content warning there. My bad. Underdog fantasy is the best spot for anyone interested in daily fantasy. As I was able to build a nice little pick em entry ahead of the Kings Clippers game at the time of this record. As if this Western Conference duel wasn't fascinating enough, I also had a chance to turn $50 into $300 by nailing these picks. Additionally, Underdog always offers the chance to compete against others. In this case, I jumped into Dunking After Dark, which placed me in a four-person draft, choosing players that were in action on the night I recorded this. The draft took literally two minutes to complete. My roster looked pretty fire, led by Nikola Jokic and James Harden, and after dropping $5 to enter, I had a chance to win parts of $20,000 in prizes. Okay, quick update. I did not win the uh, first place grand prize with this drafted team. I did, however, finish tied for 563rd place, winning $10 in the process. I know, I know, 10 bucks, but uh, that's not too shabby, and it was a lot of fun. You can join in on the fun by signing up for Underdog using my code JCAN. They'll match your first deposit up to $100 and give you a mystery pick'em special. Once again, that's code JCAN at Underdog. Link is down below. Following the first upset of the video, we get our first Battle of Texas, with the Spurs traveling to Dallas, where the all-time Mavericks team is uh, not that great. I mean, Dirk is cool, Luka's awesome, Roy Tarpley, Kyrie, yeah, it's just not that loaded, I'll be honest. Especially in comparison to their foes from Texas, Tim Duncan, David Robinson, George Gervin, Tony Parker, this is a dynasty in their prime, the all-time Spurs, yeah, they're the favorites. Eh, hold on, partner, that sounds like a classic J Canada jinx, as once again, home court advantage took over. What am I seeing? They're, bro, bro, I, why, I, I'm sorry, San Antonio fans, what in the world? 26, 9, 11 for Dirk, Kyrie, and Luka, both over 20. I, what, dude, what are we seeing? Dallas makes the first move in Texas. Luka gets the end game treatment. Oh boy. While the wheels set up another potential crushing upset, the all time Bulls traveling southeast to Memphis. I'm not going to say anything crazy here. No jinxes. Uh, all I know is the all time Bulls have Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Derek Rose, Dennis Rodman, Artis Gilmore, and a pretty good bench too. Yeah. All the all time Grizzlies. I, they got the Gasols. They've got John ja Morant. I, I mean, yeah, it's solid. Um, I'm not saying anything. Okay, remember, I didn't say anything. All right, I, I didn't jinx anybody either way. Man, that game was a lot closer than it should have been. I'm saying it now. Scotty Pippen, 27, 7, and 11, carrying Michael Jordan. As a reward for Scotty's great game, he gets the end game treatment while the wheel sent us back to Texas, but the compass sent Houston into all-time Pelicans territory. The all-time Houston Rockets are for real, man. Hakeem Mo. Moses, James Harden, T-Mac. The one thing is they got a lot of just pure centers. Yao Ming, Ralph Sampson. Can they balance out that rotation? Maybe another little uh, upset potential here. The all-time Pelicans. Not that great. CP3, Anthony Davis, Baron Davis. Uh, you know, they're scrappy. They're underdogs. Maybe. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Scrappy underdogs. Yeah. Yeah. The New Orleans Pelicans. The all-time Pels. They're doing it. I mean, not really. They're down four. They need a bucket on this possession or the game is over. CP3 going into Ralph Sampson. Why would you do that, Chris? Anthony Davis was cool. Uh, CP3 was great. But James Harden, 33 and 13 to lead a loaded all-time Rockets team. They could be a problem. Really easy choice to end game James Harden. Houston expands into Louisiana. The wheel gave us a second helping of all-time Bulls already. A classic battle upcoming with the all-time Pistons. I mean, it should be a good one. The uh, Bulls, very good. Scotty Pippen now in end game. But the all-time Pistons, they are very deep. You know, IT being their best player, maybe not not as good as some other franchises, but look at all these 90s. Yeah, Detroit. Yeah, no. Um, unfortunately, a no for the Pistons. The all-time Bulls were simply too mighty in this one. 31 and 11 for MJ. There you go. I figure we'll keep building around MJ, so D-Rose gets an invincible boost. While speaking of teams on the rise, we'd get the Mavericks again, barely entering T-Wolves territory on the map. We've seen both these teams already
already. Luca's an Endgame 99. Anthony Edwards an Invincible 99. Um, yeah, one of these cool upset stories is going home. Okay, but not without a fight. Both these teams, all right, four point game here. Mini, uh, they are down home court advantage. Just over a minute left. KG going right around Dirk and missing a layup. I saw that coming. Cat, go up with it, man. I talked earlier about how the Timberwolves executed in the clutch. They just went to KG. Wasn't the case. He missed there. Luca on the other side getting doubled. Oh my gosh, they left Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> Yeah, Minnesota. That was that that was bad all around. A huge real estate acquisition for Dallas while Dirk gets endgame. The wheel spun us all-time Hornets traveling to Atlanta. I hate to report it, Charlotte fans, but the all-time Hornets easily the weakest all-time team that we'll see today. But uh, that doesn't really mean anything. If they get a win or two, get some upgrades, who knows? On the other side, the all-time Hawks, uh, just a very good roster. Dominique, Bob Pettit, Dikembe, like it's not world beating, but uh, should be good enough in this matchup i think no 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 what am do 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 i i don't know i don't know. i couldn't possibly rig these videos if i tried by the way like look at the what is the hornets are on the road there is no logic to this one wow they shot 48 percent from deep and took way more free throws than the hawk <laughs> that thing Okay, okay. In a true shock, the Hornets take over Georgia. LaMelo gets a nice end game bump and the wheel would send us to the West Coast for the first time. Battle of LA, let's get it done. Cause I mean, you knew we'd get this uh, almost inevitably in this video. The all-time Clippers, definitely the underdog. I mean, their team is cool. They've got some nice pieces. Kawhi, CP3, the Lob City Clips. Yeah, it's okay. But the all-time Lakers, in my estimation, the second best all-time team that we will see. Magic, Kobe, Shaq, Jerry West. I mean, do I really need to name all these people here? LeBron James, I told you there was another team upcoming. Let's go. And Braun stands have a reason to remain on this video. All-time Lakers cruising to a W. Kobe Bryant, 30 points in 31 minutes to lead the way. All-time Lakers get endgame Kobe and Southern California. 99 LaMelo and his Hornets would travel to take on 99 Iverson and the Sixers. Billy, this would be a huge bucket on the other end. AI forcing up a contested bit. Look at that shot, bro. That that's, that's end game AI. Fair enough. A nice run for the all-time Hornets comes to an end. Uh, Big O and the all-time Kings started a run of their own against Steve Nash and the all-time Suns. And it ended up being one of these in-between games where it wasn't, uh, it's not a clutch finish, but it also wasn't a blowout for me to make fun of either team. A, a nice win, all-time Sacramento. The wheel gave us the Kings back-to-back. -back. This time a battle for North Cal against the all-time Warriors who seemingly had everything. Oh my gosh, but you know what they don't have. Yeah, they, they can have everything in the world. They do not have a W in this video. And uh, that's not going to happen because they're going to be eliminated. Wow. After the wheel gave us Sacramento for a third straight game, sending them into Portland, my slow ass finally had a realization. Bro, I am so slow. I am so... I'm wearing a Sacramento King shirt. I It took me this long to put this together. I What? Does the wheel know? Does the wheel know more than I know what shirt I'm wearing? Come on. Summoning the power of my King shirt, no doubt. Sac would indeed win a third straight game. They now own just so much real estate. Wow. And I got to do this one with my face here. Eh? If we get the Kings for a fourth straight time, I'm taking this shirt off live on video. Wow. You are all very lucky. Thankfully, my shirt remained on as I watched the all-time Bulls cruise past the all-time Toronto Raptors. We finally traveled to the Northeastern United States. Larry and the all-time Celtics taking on Jason Kidd and the all-time Nets. This was actually a close game. I, I mean, you knew Boston would eventually survive though. Jason Tate got the end game treatment and the all-time Celts played a back-to-back -back game, this time a 30-point dusting of the poor all-time Wizards. Get him out of here! Get out! A battle for Florida was up next. 99 overall LeBron James taking on Tracy McGrady and the all-time Magic. Just go up with it, Dwight Howard. Just, you really missed that. Go up with the rebound, Dwight Howard. You really missed that. Dude. What am I watching right now? Miami takes the tip while Dallas traveled to Denver where Luka Doncic ruined their dreams. He dropped 35 5 and 15 on route to another all-time Mavs dub. After winning their third game of the video, Dallas now has three endgame upgrades in Luka, Dirk, and now Jamal Mashburn. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, LeBron stands. Look away, look away, LeBron stands. The all-time heat got blown 
out by the all-time Rockets, while moments later, in a battle for the West Coast, LeBron's Lakers were on the chopping block. Oh, baby, I called it big-time basketball. Whatever happens here, I knew we'd get it. What are you doing, Oscar? <laughs> Oscar Robertson, a ridiculous shot. That's endgame, baby. The all-time Kings took control as the all-time Lakers just refused to get Kobe Bryant involved in the clutch. AD shoots a contest. What is Anthony Davis doing? Oh my word, now the Lakers are gonna have to foul. Wait, no, Cousins going quickly and missing for some reason. This is chaotic, yo, Magic. I'm begging you to find Kobe spotting up in the three. He will hit in the corner. He will hit a contested three. Why are you going at 99 everything, Oscar? Magic inside gets him up in the air. He missed it. I saw that coming from a mile away. Big O would miss a free throw, meaning the Lakers still had a small chance. Kobe, maybe you wanna kick that out? Oh, okay, okay, all right. Well, <laughs> what did I just see, Kobe? No! Yeah, our final LeBron team got ousted as the Kings take Cali, and moments later, in a shocking 30-point blowout, the Mavericks took down Houston and take over Texas. Well, that's Dallas. The all-time Utah Jazz entered the video just far too late, and the all-time Kings at this point are far too dominant. After that win, their roster consists of 599 overall. Speaking of teams making their debut in the video, the wheel gave us the all-time Bucks with their Kareem Giannis duo taking on 99 MJ and the all-time Bulls. Milwaukee's got so much length and size on defense though. Like that D, I can see why they're succeeding. Mike sliced right past it though. He does not care. Man, they could have young Ray Allen out here. They do not. Okay, Giannis get downhill. It doesn't work. Scotty's too good. Scotty's got all them badges and all them stats. He gets a stop. Oh my word, Chicago out transition. Oh no, no. Big O is no contest for Derrick Rose going to the rim. The all-time Bucks needed one back in the clutch and they got it. It's all good though. One bucket here. They're going quickly. Giannis has a step. Why? Why would he shoot a floater? Oh my word. That was so dumb, but it worked. The pressure shifted back to those all-time bulls. Final possession of regulation. 99 MJ going to work. He's got DPOY Moncrief on him. Down to six seconds left. Oh, that's so much space. Why did MJ not shoot it? He deferred to Derrick Rose. Puts it up from the elbow and misses. What is Michael Jordan doing? He had a clean look to win the game. Just a shocking result as the Bucks gain endgame Giannis. They also gained a second straight W as the all-time pace unfortunately came up just short in their debut. Another no-brainer to upgrade Kareem to his endgame form, and the wheel gave us the Bucks for a third straight game. This one, though, gonna be tough, as it's all-time Bucks with 99 Giannis and Kareem against all-time 76ers. We haven't seen him in a minute, but remember, AI and Dr. J are both at a 99 overall. Yeah, it's serious, brother. Um, seriously, seriously bad for the Bucks. Um, seriously good, though, for Philadelphia. Did you see how that works because they did the blowing um anyways what am i saying are you fucking stupid moses malone not even an end game card yet dr j a triple double alan iverson literally did nothing eight points 12 assists. i mean he was cool i guess my point was the 76ers just dominated with one of their end game upgrades uh not even playing a starring role that's crazy the 76ers get another end game to add to their squad a little guy named joel mb never heard of him and with that five teams remain on our wheel just one that we have yet to see and okay, Boston. Surely Boston will have to enter uh, this specific territory. No, no, they're not going to. Okay, you know what? I take it back. Boston heading southwest slightly is indeed into Knicks territory. We got to get them in this video anyways. Let's go. The all-time Knicks were thinking they could just sit back, wait until the end to make their move. Well, it's time. Walt Frazier, Patrick Ewing, Willis Re It is a pretty good roster. I can't lie. The Knicks, pretty legendary. But against the Celtics with endgame Jason Tatum, Larry bird. I mean, it could be worse. Yeah, but uh, nobody tells Stephen A. Smith, all right? His Knicks, they just got smacked. All right, they were in this video for all of like 25 seconds. How do you do that? Boston overtakes New York, and we officially have our final four set. A third end game upgrade for the all-time Boston Celtics. It's Bill Russell, not like they needed it. No more first-time teams on the wheel. We've seen each of these franchises. There's some legendary ones here, including those Celtics again. Not sure there's a way for them to avoid Philadelphia here. Here. Yeah, yeah, we saw this one coming. A battle for the east of the United States. It's Boston. It's Philly. Because Boston did the challenging. They are the road team. Maybe that's the only advantage the 76ers need. Um, I, I mean, both these teams. They're loaded. What do you want me to say at this point? Oh, yes. 
Oh yes, whatever happens here in this video, let's get a couple epic games to finish us off. Uh, Joel inside, good finish. The Celtics have a weird rotation out here. I see them trying to bring uh, Larry Bird in. I'm sure they're also going to bring Tatum in. It's Bob Cousy though. He does not care who's coming in the game. Joel with the defense inside. They force a turnover on Dave Cowens. What a disaster class in the clutch from the Celtics. Wilt's going to the line. Oh wait, Wilt can't shoot free. Oh wait, Wilt can't shoot free throws. It was actually genius. The Celtics have their people and now so do the 76ers. One shot here from Larry Bird or any other Celtic. And the game might be over. Larry's inside for a dunk. The all-time Sixers have Iverson, MB, Dr. J. All three endgame upgrades out here right now. Oh my gosh. Bill Russell just did it. The endgame on the other side for Boston. Forced that turnover. Picked it up. And now he's about to hit two free throws to seal this game. Wow. It wasn't an epic game winner or anything flashy. But endgame Bill Russell with a super clutch defensive start off to seal the game for the all-time Celtics. Larry Bird, Bob Cousy, Jason Tatum, and a huge defensive effort from Bill Russell. They took there it. There it is, man. The Boston Celtics turned the uh, east coast of the United States green. All right. Rajon Rondo is going to be the next upgrade. It's basically the best one available for the Celts. Figured they could use another point guard anyways. And our second to last wheel spin of the video. Who gets to play? Who gets to sit this one out? It's going to be the Sacramento Kings, baby. Unfortunately, they don't get a buy through to the final, but it's all good. They're going to earn it. And we just had the battle for the East Coast. Uh, this is basically the Western Conference final of our video. Sacramento heading into Dallas Mavericks territory. I got to be honest, the Celtics being in the final matchup of our game. That makes sense. Uh, the Kings and the Mavericks, though. Both these teams a bit surprising to me, but both have earned their spot. Who will advance? Yes, yes. We love it for the content. Another tight finish. 90 seconds remaining. The map. Wow, the Mavericks could actually put this game away right here. I kind of didn't put that together. They're up five. Dirk to the rim. What? How does 99 Dirk miss that? Kings need a bucket here to extend this game. Big O working on Steve Nash. Get out of here, Steve. One dagger bucket here. It's got to be Dirk on the post. Fade. His signature shot. Oh, it was beautiful from the elbow. Dude, I'm going to have some major thoughts to work through if the Mavericks do hold on here. That is good defense. Jamal Mashburn, 99 overall, came and helped Steve Nash out. Oh my word. What do the Kings do now? Is this game over? One more shot. Luka is wild wide open. Get out of here. Sacramento, take a hike. I gotta take this shirt off now, don't I? 26 and a dagger from Luka. 18 and 11 with a dagger from Dirk. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's right. That's right, baby. The Mavericks hoodie is on. We're on the bandwagon. The King shirt had to go after that performance. Okay. Dallas takes over the west part of the United States. Man, what a battle. What a journey this has been. Once again, because the Mavs are so disrespected on my team, I have to use Cavs version of Kyrie, get him up to a 99. It's all fair, baby. And our final wheel spin will dictate who gets home court advantage. So whoever this spin lands on is the home team in our final matchup. And it's gotta be the Mavs. The magic is in the hood. Of course, I'm just being facetious. There's no magic. There's no trickery. The all-time Boston Celtics, the best roster on paper to begin the video. Now they have four 99 endgame boosts. I mean, they should be the favorite. And I gotta be honest, I would have told you all that the Mavericks were probably like a boss bottom five all-time roster at the beginning of this video. Now, obviously 599 overalls helps, but they still are not as deep or balanced as the Celtics, but why should we doubt them now? They have literally crushed everyone in their competition. They finally had somewhat of a clutch finish last time and dominated that as well. Can they keep up with the all-time Celtics? Oh my gosh, can they keep up? Yep, they're trading leads in the fourth. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a drill. The all-time Dallas Mavericks have a two-point lead on their home court with under two minutes left. As per usual, the coaches are being crazy. No Dirk Nowitzki on the floor, but it doesn't matter. Kyrie Irving, what a shot. Austin is uh, not calling a time. I don't even know if they're trying to sub people in. Rondo inside. He's a 99. That's a good bucket. I know Celtics fans are going to be so mad, but what do you, literally, what do you want from me? It's not my fault. A Doc or Auerbach, whoever's coaching is... Uh, what? No. They just left people wide open. Why did Luka not kick that out? He walked right into a block shot. That was dumb. Can he find a shooter? Bob Cousy. That is contested. Bob Cousy. Why would you shoot that? Of course, it took an intentional foul for the teams to make proper substitution. So now all the 99s are in the game. Dallas is up four. 20 seconds left. Boston is out of timeouts. That's important. Please tell me they're going to try and shoot a three. Oh yeah, Jason Tatum wide open. That's He missed that. He really missed that. What? 99 endgame. Jason Tatum 
missed a beautifully clean look at a three. Would have made it a one-point game. I cannot believe it. Rondo at the buzzer. It does not matter. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. The all-time Dallas Mavericks with one of the best runs I've ever seen in one of these imperialism videos. Barely broke a sweat and do end up the champions of all-time teams NBA imperialism. I literally can't believe it, dude. I've mentioned before in other videos, I'm sure I have, that the all-time Mavericks team is just not that good, but with a couple timely wins, they built something amazing. Let me know what you thought of the video. Drop a thumbs up. Use code JCanadaUnderdog.